What is going on? Hello, hello, hello. Super excited to have you here on another episode of Read With Me. We are diving deep into Cash Flow Quadrant by Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. This book is going to be amazing. If you haven't checked out the previous uh, video, we actually went into the preface of the book. Really, really great nuggets. It was really, really good. Um, I'll actually start this video with my favorite quote from the preface of this book, which was amazing. So this was the quote that was awesome. Her strength of spirit and her financially educated mind, sorry, her strength of spirit and her financially educated mind allowed her to follow her life's path without taking a vow of poverty. Now, if you don't know, my name is Isabel, Isabel Bedell from Billionaireette. I'm one of the founders here at Billionaireette. We do read with me sessions as a tool to expand our mind consistently, you know, there are many book clubs out there. There are many um, ways to grow individually. But what we know, okay, is that you have to do the work. You have to really put in the hours to understand where you want to go. So the tools that we're using here, books, are ways for all of us to communicate in one language and in one particular direction. You know, that preface was all about um, your life's path and all of that. And it's so true that if you do not have a life's path, it's a lot of the times because you're listening to other people's impressions of who you should be and not who you know you should be. Okay. It's not until you detach of who you are is that you're actually free. So the ability to identify, you know, what you want to do and how you want to live your life is so strong, you know, and in the billionaire at inner circle, we're diving into all of these principles, not just the emotional side of it, not just the mental side of it, not just the spiritual side of it, but what are the emo like, what are the practical things that you should be doing right now to get closer to where you want to go? And if you don't know, we work with coaches. You know, we work with coaches from all over the world, and we are able to really identify the the key things that make up that person. Sometimes you may not recognize your strengths and your abilities to grow or really impact someone's life because you're in the day to day, you know, but when you're taking a vow to educate yourself and, you know, bring in the abundance that is like so well-deserved for you, then now life changes life is treated differently. Life is really embraced, you know, and you're not just running around. You're intentional with every word that you speak, with every action that you take and how you are conversating with people. It's very, very intentional. So I know that was a very deep opening to this, but it's so important now more than ever to take your life serious, to take your life and use that gift of life to its fullest potential. So without further ado, okay, I'm going to dive into the introduction, okay? If you have a cup of tea, if you have some water with you, take a sip. Mm. Delicious, by the way. Take a guess on what I'm drinking. It's so refreshing. It's literally the best thing on earth. <sighs> so without further ado, let's dive into it, shall we? So now we're going to dive into the introduction of cash flow quadrant. And he starts with which quadrant are you in? The cash flow quadrant is a way to categorize people 
based on where their money comes from. Okay. Hold on tight, y'all. It's about to get serious. Are you financially free? He asks. If your life has come to a financial fork in the road, Rich Dad's cash flow quadrant has been written for you. If you want to take control of what you do today in order to change your financial destiny, this book will help you chart your course. This is a cash flow quadrant. The letters in each quadrant represent E is for employee, S is for small business or self-employed, and B is for big business, and I is for investor. And this is how it's laid out. Okay. We got the E, we got the B, we got the S, and we got the I. Each of us resides in at least one of the four sections or the quadrants of the cash flow quadrant. Where we are is determined by where our cash comes from. Many of us are employees who rely on paychecks, while other other people are actually self-employed. Employees and self-employed individuals reside on the left side of the cash flow quadrant. The right side is for individuals to receive their cash from their businesses and they own investments. The cash flow quadrant is an easy way to categorize people based on where their money comes from. Each quadrant within the cash flow quadrant is unique and the people within each one share common characteristics. The quadrant will show you where you are today and will help you chart a course for where you want to go. You must choose your own path to financial freedom. While financial freedom can be found in all of the four quadrants, the skills of a B or an I will help you reach your financial goals more quickly. Successful E's need to become successful I's to ensure the financial security during retirement. What do you want to be when you grow up? This book, in many ways, part two of my book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, for those who may not have read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is all about the different lessons my two dads taught me about money and life and their choices. One was my real dad, and the other one was my best friend's dad. One was highly educated, and the other one was a high school dropout. One was poor, and the other one was rich. So he goes into poor dad's advice. Growing up, my highly educated dad, my highly educated but poor dad always said, go to school, get good grades, find a safe and secure job. He was recommending a life path that looked like this. And he goes into the E and the S right here. Okay. Okay. Poor dad recommended that I become a well-paid E, an employee, or a well-paid S, a self-employed professional, such as a medical doctor, lawyer, or accountant. My poor dad was very concerned about a steady paycheck, benefits, and job security. That's why he was very well-paid, a government official, and the head of education for the state of Hawaii. On the other hand, here's my rich dad's advice. My uneducated but rich dad offered very different advice. He said, go to school, graduate, build a business, and become successful as an investor. He was recommending a life that looked like this, which is the B and the I quadrant. So on the right side of the quadrant. This book is about the mental, emotional, and educational process that I went through in following my rich dad's advice. So who is this book for? This book is written for people who are ready to change quadrants, especially for individuals who are currently in the E and S categories and are contemplating moving to the B and I category. This book is for people who are ready to move beyond job security and begin to achieve financial security. It's not an easy life path, but the price at the end of the road, financial freedom, is worth the journey. 
When I was 12 years old, Rich Dad told me a very simple story that guided me to great wealth and financial freedom. It was the way he was explaining the difference between the left side of the cash flow quadrant, the E and the S quadrants, and the right side or the B and the I quadrants. The story goes like this. Once upon a time, there was, a, there was this quaint little village. It was a great place to live, except for one problem. The village had no water unless it rained. To solve this problem once and for all, the village elders asked contractors to submit bids to deliver water to the village on a daily basis. Two people volunteered to take on the task, and the elders awarded the contract to both of them. They felt that a little competition would keep prices low and ensure a backup of supply of water. The first person who won the contract, Ed, immediately ran out, bought two galvanized steel buckets, and began running back and forth to the lake, which was a mile away. He immediately began making money as he labored morning to dusk, hauling water from the lake with his two buckets. He would empty them into large concrete holdings in the village he had built. Each morning, he had to get up before the rest of the village awoke to make sure there was enough water for the people. It was hard work, but he was very happy to be making money and for having one of the two exclusive contracts for this business. The second winning contractor, Bill, disappeared for a while. He wasn't seen for months, which made Ed very happy since he had no competition. Instead of buying two buckets to compete with Ed, Bill wrote a business plan, created a corporation, found four investors, employed a president to do the work, and returned six months later with a construction crew. Within a year, his team built a large volume stainless steel pipeline, which connected to the village to the lake. At the grand opening celebration, Bill announced that his water was cleaner than Ed's water. Bill knew that the villagers had complained about the water's lack of cleanliness. Bill also announced that he could supply the village with water 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Ed could no longer deliver water on weekends because he didn't want to work on weekends. Then Bill announced that he would actually charge 75% less than Ed did for this higher quality, more reliable water. The villagers cheered and immediately ran for the faucet at the end of Bill's pipeline. In order to compete, Ed immediately lowered his rates by 75%, bought two more buckets, added covers to his buckets, and began hauling four buckets each trip. In order to provide better service, he hired two of his sons to give him a hand on the night shifts and on the weekends. When his boys went off to college, he said to them, hurry back because someday this, been, this business will belong to you. For some reason, his two sons never returned. Eventually, Ed had employees and union problems. The union demanded higher wages and better benefits and wanted its members to only haul one bucket at a time. Meanwhile, Bill realized that if his village, if this village needed water, then other villages must need water too. He rewrote the business plan and went off to sell his high speed, high volume, low cost, clean water delivery system to villages throughout the world. He only makes a penny per bucket of water delivered, but he delivers billions of buckets of water every day. Whether he works or not, billions of people consume billions of buckets of water and all the money pours back into his bank account. Bill developed a pipeline to deliver money to himself as well as water to the villages. Bill lived happily ever after. Ed worked hard for the rest of his life and had financial problems forever, forever, and forever. The end. That is the story. That story about Bill and Ed has guided me for years. It has assisted me in my life's decision in making processes. My life's decision making process. I often ask myself, am I building a pipeline of hauling buckets or am I working hard? Or am I working smart? And the answer to those questions have made me financially free.
That is what this book is about. It's about what it takes to become a B and an I. It's for people who are tired of hauling buckets and are ready to build pipelines for cash to flow into their pockets. I love that story. Y'all, if you enjoyed that story, put it in the comments, put it in the chat, put it in the chat, put it in the chat, because that was strong. I love that. I can definitely visually see that too. And he continues. This book is divided into three parts. Part one, the first part of this book focuses on the core differences between people in the four quadrants. It shows why certain people gravitate to certain quadrants and often get stuck there without realizing it. It will help you identify where you are today in the quadrant and where you want to be in five years from now. Part two, the second part of this book is about personal change. It's more about who you have to be instead of what you have to do. And then part three, the third part of this book explains how to find success on the right side of the cash flow quadrant. I will share more of my rich dad secrets on the skills required to be a successful B and I. It will show you how to choose your path to financial freedom. Throughout Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant, I continue to stress the importance of financial intelligence. If you want to operate on the right side, the B and I quadrant side, you must be smarter then if you choose to stay on the left side, the E and S quadrant side, to be, in, to be in the B or an I quadrant, you must be able to control the direction of your cash flow. This book is written for people who are ready to make changes in their life to move beyond job security and begin to build their own pipelines to achieve financial freedom. We are in the information age, which offers more opportunity for financial reward than ever before. Individuals with the skills of BNIs will be able to identify and seize those opportunities. To be successful in the information age, a person needs information from all four quadrants. Unfortunately, our schools are still in the industrial age and still prepare students for only the left side of the cash flow quadrant. If you're looking for new answers to move forward in the information age, this book is for you. It doesn't have all the answers, but it will share the deep personal and guiding insights I've gained as I traveled from E and S side all the way to the B and I side. That's strong. That is an introduction to this book. And I absolutely love how he started it off with a story. Uh, I freaking love stories. And if you know, stories sell, facts tell. So he definitely sold that introduction. And not only that, but I would love to know, you know, are you in the E and S side or are you in the B and I side? It's funny because my initials are IB. So I'm pumped because, you know, I must be an investor. Anywho, cheers to you. Cheers to all the amazing blessings heading your way. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do what you got to do because this channel is for you. We've literally built this amazing community of amazing people from all over the world that are extremely focused to building their personal and financial freedom because it matters. Okay. It matters more than ever today. The information age, just like Robert said, we live in a very prosperous, abundant information age that you can get access to. So make sure to join the billionaire at inner circle, get access to all this information that is literally making people thousands and thousands of dollars per month. And actually per day, some of them, I'm excited to share that with you. So read with me sessions, check out the next video. We're going to dive into chapter one of the cash flow quadrant. Cheers.